application of the Nolan hoof plate. Nolan hoof plates always come in pairs. Application is made easy with the Nolan nail guide. Each Nolan hoof plate kit includes 1 quarter inch and 3 eighths inch pan head screws. For installation, you will need a power drill with magnetized Phillips head bit, tin snips, nail cutter, Phillips screwdriver, and a box of hard nails, such as Delta or Izumi. The Nolan hoof plate can be applied to a healthy hoof, a flared, foundered, or unsound hoof, cracked hoof, or thin-walled, shelly, brittle, seedy hooves, or hooves with thin soles. If the horse currently has one, first remove the shoe. Clean, trim, and rasp the hoof. Measure the angle of trim. Choose a shoe. The Nolan hoof plate comes in five angles. 56 degree, often used for navicular syndrome or gaited horses. 54 degree, most common for front hooves and pleasure riding horses. 52 degree, commonly used with a natural trim angle. 48 degree, for sheared heels or foundered horses. 45 degree, for sheared heels or foundered. Choose the appropriate Nolan hoof plate based on angle of trim. Bend the plate around the anvil to approximate the hoof wall curvature. Hold the plate up to the hoof to determine the proper length, extending one hole pattern behind the bridge of the hoof, being careful not to extend past the heel. Use the tin snips to trim both ends of the plate if needed. Cut between the holes to leave a continuous edge at the rear of the plate. Place the plate three quarter inch above the ground edge of the toe to support the bulge. Make sure the top line of the plate is relatively parallel to the coronary band. Place a new shoe on the hoof. Use high-grade hardened nails to last the 16 to 20 week duration of treatment. Drive a nail through one of the front holes. Drive a high nail by running more parallel to the hoof wall compared to standard shoeing. Line up the plate to the nail. Center the plate on the hoof three quarter inch above the ground at the tip of the toe. Hammer clinch the nail downward and towards the rear of the hoof. Drill two three eighth inch screws into the front facing holes. Drive a nail through the other front hole, making sure to drive a high nail. Hammer clinch the nail downward towards the plate. Here, the nail extends past the plate. Trim all nails that extend past the plate to prevent snagging, taking care not to trim the nail too short. Drill a 3 8 inch screw through the holes into the hoof wall near the nail ends. Drive two nails through the next two holes. Repeat the same process. Make sure the plate is flat against the hoof wall before clinching. Once the nails have been clinched, drill two more screws into the holes near the nail end. If a nail does not line up, use the Nolan nail guide behind the plate. Place the nail guide behind the plate and guide the nail end towards an opening in the plate. If the hoof is cracked, it is recommended to drill screws on either side of the crack to help support the hoof. Drive two nails through the next two holes. Clinch the nail ends downward and drill a one quarter inch screw into the hoof wall. Drill three one quarter inch screws into the last three holes on both sides of the hoof to ensure the plate does not pull away at the heel. There should be a minimum of six nails and 14 screws on the finished application. Inject adhesive in each set of holes. Make sure to fill the space between the plate and the hoof wall. Apply adhesive to the top and bottom edges of the plate to keep dirt and debris from getting behind the plate. Next, cover the entire plate, nails and screws with adhesive. Wait five minutes for the adhesive to dry and set. Always apply Nolan hoof plates in pairs.